Hi everyone and welcome to our channel specialized in designing MATLAB applications. If you remember, we presented on this channel three applications designed for finding roots of polynomial equations, where the first two apps are limited to the second order polynomial equations, in another word, quadratic equations. The third one can solve any order of polynomial equations, but it was very simple and cannot visualize the block and the location of the roots. All these weaknesses and limitations are solved in this new app. It is advanced and equipped with the necessary tools to find the roots of any polynomial equation. It can list all the roots with any decimal places or precision from here. We can set the decimal places. It also converts the polynomial coefficients. We can insert the polynomial coefficients here to a polynomial equation. We will see it here, polynomial equation. And this polynomial equation is rendered using the latex scripting language. Moreover, the polynomial equation and its roots are graphically illustrated here. And a reference line at y equals zero from here, this reference line is also shown as well. All these plots can be fully configured and customized as per the user's wish. Now let's run the app to see it in action. Let's maximize it. So this is our app. As can be seen, the app has a dark theme, which is better for visualization and it is more comfortable to our eyes. Let's solve these polynomial equations, starting from this equation, okay? So these are the coefficients of this equation, polynomial equation. It is of order six, and we can see it in a symbolic way here, through latex scripting language. So it is 2x to the power 6 minus 13x to the power 5 plus 26x to the power 4 minus 7x to the power 3 minus 28x to the power 2 plus 20x. So there is no any intercept. Okay, if we want to find the root, all what we need is to press on find. So all these roots can be visualized here. Not just that, we can also update the domain if we want. For example, we don't want from one, we want it from, for example, two. So it will give us that one. Two, for example, four. It will give us that things. It is updatable or not updatable because if we want to show the curve or not, for example, if it is updatable, then if the roots outside the range, then it will show us also the remaining part. If it is not updatable, then it will show empty line. Anyway, let's show it as before. Three and here one minus one. So this is our graph. And also we can customize the line, this line. For example, let's select this color. For the line. We can even increase the width, for example, to this value if we want, and we can also select the style, for example, dots. And for the markers, also we can do lots of things, for example, selecting a star if we want, or selecting diamond, or selecting square, and we can change the size. And we can also change the face color to, for example, this one, if we want. And also the edge color, for example, this color. And also, if we can see here, there is a line, reference line, at zero. We can change that one also to, for example, let's say yellow. Okay, we can increase it if we want. And we can also select the style, for example, this one, if we want. And for the grid, we can uh, decrease the transparency or increase it if we want. 
even we can hide it or show it we can change also the color to for example this one and we can adjust the transparency to this one we can set it to 0.5 as before we can change that one to for example this one and this one to this and let's say it is also two okay now let's solve second order polynomial equation which is quadratic equation it is x square minus 10x plus 23 so this is our equation x square minus 10x plus 23 and let's select the domain or the bounds between 3 and 7 and let's solve it for these roads this point and this point we can see them here we can select for example this one if we want and change that one to this color okay and if we want to increase the decimal places we can increase them from here and we can see that we can clear these points and now let's solve a cubic function it is 2 minus 1 minus 7 for example and 2 okay so this is our equation and let's solve it with selecting what updatable to ensure that the points are within our range so if the roots are outside it will be expanded so these roots is between this range so let's select for example here minus 3 to 3 so this is our roots okay and we can see them also here let's solve for example this one minus 2 4 66 minus 100 for example and minus 400 it is fourth order polynomial equation it is updatable so if we press on find if it is outside the range the roots the plot will be expanded so we can see it here it is expanded we can make it more beautiful for example selecting minus six to six so we can see it here and we can change the color of the blot to for example this one or this one if you want this project you can download it from the links provided below in the description at the end we would like to say thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see more advanced applications goodbye